While activists may be calling to defund the police, that does not appear to be where San Antonio officials are headed right now. City Hall reporter Garrett Berger tells us city staff and council members are eyeing how the department could change. He joins us now live to explain this evening. So Garrett, council members and city staff were discussing the department, the police department this afternoon as part of a budget session. What all did they have to say? While there were questions about why the SAPD budget was bumped up about $8 million over last year, it's largely because of scheduled pay increases for officers, there weren't any calls to drastically cut the budget. However, the city manager has been pushing for a path that could make major changes to the department just down the road. City manager Eric Walsh has proposed a review process of the SAPD, including public input that could reshape what the city expects from SAPD officers, what role they play, and what kind of calls they respond to. But if they change all that up, it would also mean finding some way to foot the bill for whoever would respond instead. So we're going to have to, if we shift responsibilities like that, then we're going to have to identify funding or, or find new funding or cut back on police spending and maybe not hire positions in the future or not add positions in Homestead. City staff also went over a resolution of priorities for renegotiating the current police union contract. That resolution, which was put forward by the mayor, focuses on the discipline process. The police chief and other city officials have spoken before about what they feel is the chief's inability to punish misconduct because of protections officers have from the contract and state law. So if they go this route, what's the timeline? Well, for the union contract, that doesn't expire until next September. And as far as reviewing the, reviewing the department and possibly proposing changes, Eric Walsh is expecting that could take until next spring. Live downtown, I'm Garrett Berger, KSAT 12 News.